Hey guys, Pat here from Ring Country again. And today, I'm going to get Heidi a little present. She's been working so hard all year long. And uh, she's been requesting this gift for a long time. So, I thought I'd take you along to go get this present for her. Um, if you guys have been watching this long enough, you might be able to guess what it is. But all for you newcomers coming along, it's been since a year since you've subscribed. Um, I'll show you what I mean by getting Mama Rain a gift. You know you live the simple life when you got when uh, your wife gets excited over horse manure. Some people might think it's kind of mean, but uh, me and Mrs. Rain just have an agreement that um, we don't buy each other extravagant gifts. We invest uh, invest what we ever you know, we make our investments in in health and being out of debt. And this is one way of doing it. Is um, we have a neighbor who likes to get rid of their horse manure. We, li we like to get it from them. Well, there's probably at least one more bucket load down there, Mama. You want it? One. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna need at least a dozen. We gotta oh. get them horses down there busy, then, huh? I know them horses better start putting out. Producing. <laughs> Because I want at least one more bucket for out here, and then quite, a, and I'll need some for over on the side, the west herb garden, and then I'll need some for the main garden areas. Well, what do you think about your uh, impromptu gift? I'm very excited. I've been looking forward to this day. <laughs> I love poop. <laughs> Not so impromptu. We've had this planned, right, Mama? <laughs> yeah, we did. It's just we've been waiting for you know to actually have a day where it wasn't raining so i can do that but um if you want to show real quick down here again uh for those who've been following me <clears throat> for a little while you might know that this front garden area this is the front of the house uh i've been expanding it a little bit more every year and so last year it was actually before i started expanding it was just it was just on, you know, just where them little bushes are. And I expanded it out about right to here last year and grew potatoes and stuff in there. And then all this you see here coming out to here and even across here a little bit is all new garden area I just made. So that, well, I, I made this a couple months ago and then just now. Right, you put a newspaper down to kill the grass. Um, you forbode me paper. to. Uh, Forbode me to start up the no rototiller, tilling. no till. So no she's she put down newspaper, paper bags, and um, boxes and such down here, and yeah, uh, we threw leaves and um, leaves different and fall yeah, uh, anything that we can trash down, and it will decompose. And now we're putting 
uh, winter times worth of horse manure on here. Some fresh, not so not not some not so fresh. There's that strawberry coming up from last year. Strawberries love look real it. Real healthy. Yep, yep. Yeah, and the potato. Like I said, I I I just expanded this last year, and I was surprised at how well the potatoes did, considering it was basically fresh ground to work with. And I got quite a few potatoes out of yeah, here. Yeah, we got a pretty good yield of potatoes. We, well, you know, we're, yeah. We really didn't expect to get anything out of here. This is yeah, kind of an experimental so plot because we have these couple of trees behind us that we probably. Oh, we'll have to take out here eventually. At least yeah. that, uh, at least that ash tree over there, Mama. But yeah. Well, and then I'm gonna want to put some more of this around that peach tree as well. So right, the right. Peach tree looks like we might do pretty good with it this year. Yeah. So here's our little peach tree that we replanted last winter. You can see how big it is now. It's about three inches at the at the at the stump there. Maybe a little better than three, maybe three, be safe. But uh, it gave us one peach last year, and me and Mama Rain uh, divided it up and amongst ourselves, and it was a really good peach. And I think this little tree is going to do real well this year. We had uh, dug it up from the backyard. He had it growing in a pot. Um, it had bursted the pot. We didn't see the break on the pot until we started... Uh, to get around to moving it we thought boy this thing's getting kind of big for this pot right here we better move it and get it in a place where it gets more sun and uh, has more places to grow and shoot the roots on it were all over the place so we ended up breaking a bunch of roots off we uh, salvaged what we could and lo and behold uh, peach tree is doing real well now this uh, cedar tree will probably have to go uh, beautiful tree it really sets off the yard nice, but we're gonna maybe even to start maybe limit up. I don't know. I hate to take it out because it's such a pretty tree, but um, this tree for sure. I'm gonna take this one here out. It's an ash, um, makes little red berries. It's just a real hassle. It you know the leaves clog up the uh, the gutters and everything. And I'll probably end up taking this one out at least. A little more sun in here. Yeah, maybe just one more for today. Is that, Are you sure that's all they have down there? Is this one more for well, now? I could probably or? muster up another one, uh, two total, but uh, if I get two, that's about it. all you're going to get. Yeah, well, this is actually pretty good. If for... I get mucking around in there too much, then I make a mess and start rutting up the ground and stuff, and I don't want to do that. Okay. It's pretty still, still damp and muddy around. Well, I'm actually not that concerned about this over here because these are the herbs and... They got a good layer of leaves and stuff on them, and, and the sage doesn't like the horse poop, mm. I found. So I, I'm going to avoid putting any horse poop there, and I think everything else will... I mean, it looks kind of ugly right now because everything is... I need to go cut all the old stuff back, but uh, um, that stuff there should do pretty good without... Because those herbs don't... All the herbs that are there don't like the horse manure as much. So oh, okay. we'll mostly keep... I'm just kind of keeping it here. And then I want to put some around the peach tree. Maybe put some chicken out front here on, on this stuff. Here yeah, I think some, they huh? I think they might... The, those herbs might prefer chicken manure. Because I notice that every time I put horse manure on them, they just kind of... They don't look good for a couple of months. And mm -hmm. then, then they spring back. Okay, well... I'll go get you what I can here. This is quite a bit for the front here. This is actually quite a bit. I probably don't even need any more out here, but I do want to make sure I I have, even if it's just a good big pile uh, right now, I can decide what, you know, if I want to, ex I might still expand a little bit more. I don't know. I I'm, uh, just kind of keep working on it a, a little bit each year. So if I have a good pile to work with, and then I can go ahead and throw some more paper and stuff and just keep expanding. There's that plant there that uh, you are talking about that... Yep. That right there. That's one the right, one that's the... Right here, it's the... What it, it makes all all the teas, all the true teas. White, green, black, and oolong. Uh-huh. All come from that one plant. It's just a matter of how you, how you process it. So, Hold on. I'm going to be trying that out. Yeah, year. that'll be in, in future videos. Yep. Okay, well, Mama, I'll uh, get off of here. Um, thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs> I guess I'm in the picture. I don't know. <laughs> and God bless. Sorry. <laughs>